sacrifice that's why i said i hope you you are the one who tempted me the bible said there's no temptation that is bigger than us so for for it to have come and we we, we cooperated in, in making it happen together sacrifice psalm 50 and verse 5 gather unto me my saints the bible says they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice hopefully tomorrow if we have the time we're going to we're going to examine as a case study the man elijah <laughs> are we together now yes most this is where ah my god this is where many believers have been cheated almost eternally they want to see the hand of god but they do not understand that in this kingdom the rising of the saints and the command of authority is highly dependent on sacrifice not only but highly it is in this area that whether you serve jesus or satan it doesn't matter you must go through that process of sacrifice you want to be a, a priest you want to be able to kill people to disappear it's still sacrifice you can't dodge that one you now say i'm born again welcome to a new family but you will still go through that process of sacrifice most believers your own becoming is your obsession for convenience the psalmist said i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord ladies and gentlemen there is nobody i know who is a carrier of the hand of god upon their lives who has seen god move over their lives who has seen the power of god that does not understand sacrifice and when i talk of sacrifice the issue of sacrifice in terms of laying down something is a latter aspect the real sacrifice is you if you are not on that altar together with your gift if it is only your gift that is on that altar it is not a sacrifice your gift will be on one side then you yourself must be on the other side are we together now the bible says in romans chapter 1 it says i be romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech thee brethren that ye offer your by the message of god that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service you know what that means that you are the one your entire life if the only thing you give god is your money it is too small no god is too big to, for you to come if the only thing you give god is transfer or an alert that is too small no even to men there are people who have grown beyond the point where it's an insult if you give them money you will go and look for one old portrait that there are only two of them in the world then buy it and give them because there is nothing material that really matters please listen if you do not understand this you will never truly carry power and you will not see the hand of god upon your life gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me there are people who if the devil there comes near even if god's people are sleeping or awake their sacrifice has become a memorial in the spirit god has vowed a vow over their life that for as long as this man is there listen there is a level of sacrifice you get to with god where you become a friend of god you know what that means most people say i am a friend of god they are right but from a standpoint of spiritual intelligence not everybody can be a friend of god the friend of god is a status it's an honor it's like a badge god gives men do you know the implication of being a friend of god for you to be a friend of god if you are going to derail god would rather take your life than for you to end with a bad testimony most people don't know what it means to be a friend of god you have earned a status with god in the spirit jesus was speaking with his disciples and he says i no longer call you strangers but friends is that true yes and one of the privileges of being a friend of god is that he never does anything in your generation without revealing it to you this is what happened to abraham we're bible students shall i hide this from my friend abraham that when god wants to move upon the face of the earth god wants to move upon lagos he comes to you and says this is what i'm about to do that friend that stick it closer than a brother but it answers to sacrifice ladies and gentlemen 
most believers there are realms in the spirit where it is not just about loving jesus wonderful as it is your life must become a living sacrifice if you want to see this happen it's an uncomfortable truth but i tell you it's the truth behind the exploits of men and the mysterious hand of god upon great people in ministry in business there are people who god has suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm i tell you it's not because their prayer life is the longest it's not because their word study life is the most concise there is something they have done with god they have provoked a sworn blessing that in blessing i will bless you hallelujah there are there are people today pastor Nat, who is not necessarily the extent of their spirituality that brought them into ministry there is something their parents did they dedicated certain rooms and said we may not be anointed but every missionary who comes let him get a place to stay they did this for 20 years 30 years and god vowed a vow that he would never allow anybody rise in this family without any help hallelujah i wish i had the time i would tell you my stories it is not just prayer and fasting i have emptied my accounts only god knows how many times for god and because i love god i have stretched myself border to border because i love god and it is not i'm i'm, I'm even uncomfortable as i'm saying it now because i'm not just trying to market myself or whatever i'm showing you that there are certain dimensions in the spirit where the key is blood there are certain dimensions where the key is not a metallic object it's on this it, blood must be dripping on your altar for certain doors to open i wish i were lying i would just tell you i'm joking unfortunately i'm not there are levels of power and authority that you want to carry over nations some of you here perhaps you are worshipers and you want the hand of god to rest upon you that the nations will hear you you can write a thousand songs ladies and gentlemen you will sing the songs of the great and it will not carry that effect because it's not coming from that depth in the spirit today i hear people say i want to carry the mantle of reinhard bonke i want to carry the mantle of don't just covet the performance of the hand of god upon their life find out the kinds of sacrifices this man made i hope you still like what i'm saying we're going to pray it is the truth it is the truth it is the truth sacrifice is where men are separated from boys sacrifice in the spirit that men and women who love god first with all their hearts and you have gotten to a point where there is nothing you cannot give god at that point you can be lying down and one song without you writing it will come through the gate of your sacrifice and that one song can open you up to the nations one sermon by the spirit can come how was creation saved sacrifice not desire to the point that when god wanted to sponsor redemption jesus himself had to come and die as a sacrifice it's a principle that even god respected jesus cried and god saw him crying yet he did not withdraw that uh, that justice system had to be meted out do you know one of the scariest statement in the bible is that jesus gave up the ghost I understand the fact that men how does life die how does life die how does light become darkness the father did not spare Jesus let me tell you the price of redemption death did Jesus pray when he walked upon the earth yes but his prayer could not translate people from darkness to light no did Jesus fast more than you most likely did Jesus study scripture from age 12 when some of us were not born again? With all of that, so if it is being warded, Jesus was warded. If he's been prayerful, Jesus was prayerful. If he was fasting, Jesus fasted. Are we together? If he was obedience, Jesus was the perfect portrait of obedience. And with all of that, he could not birth redemption. 
he went to the point where they lacerated him 30 stripes said 40 stripes save one and the father still looked at him put a crown of thorn upon his head he had the option he said i can call a legion ten thousand angels and pontius pilate looked at him what a man is this and jesus a 33 and a half year old man carried the cross by himself naked with the shame his only cloth was his blood and he went to the cross and the father was still watching two thieves were there talking all their stories he was still there until jesus died went to hades the place of the dead purchased for us redemption and resurrected triumphantly are we together you don't have to die for your own sins but sacrifice is a non-negotiable requirement lord i desire power i want to see your grace rest upon me lord i want to become like pastor nat if his trumpet i even have it at home i can play the thing I, I can blow it why is it that i blow my own and nobody the people say don't disturb us i can tell you it's not that there is something wrong with your skill is that there is a measure there is a relationship between death and glory my bible says except a corn falls to the ground and dies i will stop here so that we'll pray rise up on your feet don't be distracted this is part of the meeting yeah.